nous, les départs qui sont pas du marché en train, mais des tendus à être recrutés pour la suite, et après, c'est passé à quasiment 1000, mm -hmm. l'année suivante. En quoi le président. Le président. Please be seated. Veuillez vous asseoir. The court is now back in session. Reprise de l'audience. Good afternoon again, Mr. Bon après-midi à Go. nouveau, Monsieur Gaufres. Oui, Monsieur le Président, je suis prêt. The President, uh, thank the President. you. We would like now to Merci. proceed and the Chamber wishes to continue. hand the floor over to La the prosecution. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Thank Bonjour, you, Mr. President. Uh, good afternoon, uh, and to all of you here, and good morning uh, to you, Mr. Joffre. Good uh, afternoon vous, to all témoin. parties. Je My name Deville. is Vincent de Ville. I represent the Office of the Co-Prosecutors, uh, and I have a few poser, questions to put to you. And some of these questions, in fact, uh, will uh, follow up uh, uh, the questions that were put to you by Judge Lavergne earlier. My first series of questions uh, focusing on your uh, testimony in defense of Quesampan E190 slash 2.5, and it's dated 15 October 2010, that is to say uh, one month after uh, the indictment uh, for this case. Uh, so could you tell the chamber uh, in a few words, if you are the one who took the initiative uh, to uh, contact Que Sampan's defense in order to uh, draft uh, this uh, testimony in support of Que Sampan, or if it is Que Sampan's team that contacted you uh, to uh, uh, write this quote unquote uh, uh, testimony in support of Que Sampan? Answer I was in contact with uh, Jacques Vergès, uh, who had asked me to provide to him some information on what I may know of Cambodia and Cambodia's relationship with Vietnam. And then I proposed uh, to draft a, a, a statement in support of Que Sampan. Uh, question very well. And between uh, the date of this written statement, 15 October 2010, and today's hearing, uh, have you had any other contact with members of the Que Sampan defense? Well, answer, last week I met Council Verken to know a little bit how uh, today's hearing would be conducted. The, I, I was told that I would be questioned on my statement uh, uh, and just to know how the proceeding was going to be conducted, that's all. Uh, fine, uh, says uh, question, the prosecutor. Uh, other question, I uh, have read uh, your um, statement and you spoke about many encounters with Que between 1957 and 1959. And also in 1990, 1992, and then uh, you uh, stayed at his home uh, several times in 2005 and 2006. Uh, how, can you uh, describe uh, your relationship with Que Sampan as a friendship? Answer, yes, we had very friendly relations. Uh, Question, um, and uh, is it because of this friendship and of these shared memories that you accepted or that you even proposed uh, to uh, testify in writing uh, and orally uh, in his support? Answer, yes, I, might, I must say that my our friendship or my friendship was based on my esteem for Que Sampan. Whom I had known in Paris and who I saw again in Cambodia, and I understood 
de son pays. Uh, his uh, devotion to his country. Est-ce qu'on peut dire qu'à partir de la fuite de Dieu sans pain, le Maquis en 1967, qui correspond, qui correspond à la période où vous quittez le Cambodge, ou en tout cas la période où vous avez habité au Cambodge, ou en tout cas la période où vous avez habité au Cambodge, et jusqu'au 17 avril 1975, donc entre 1967 et 1975, est-ce que vous avez des nouvelles directes Up to the 17th of April 1975, did you receive any kind of news from Kyo Sampan? Well, answer, when he left Phnom Penh to go underground in 1967, I was in Malaysia. And then, after that, I had no direct contact with him up until 1990. Merci. Donc, Question. Thank si you. je comprends bien, so if I understood correctly, vous avez eu environ une période de there is approximately a 23 year period during which you contact had no contact, no contact with Kyo Sampan, très peu, and during which you knew very little rôle, vous avez, vous avez dit tout à of je crois about his role de rôle, des and menait, about his activities et de ses convictions and his con ideological et convictions en la question de savoir, and in particular si ses convictions you et son engagement politique had very little understanding avaient évolué par rapport au moment or, or, or you did not know uh, if his political convictions or ideological uh, stances had changed since you knew him uh, You're absolutely right. I did not have any contact with him, and I was not indeed able to follow uh, his ideological developments if there were any. Uh, fine, says uh, the co-prosecutor. In your written statement, uh, you made a certain number of uh, observations and personal analysis, in particular as of Section 9, which uh, focuses on the reasons why Kyo was appointed head of state, uh, as well as uh, on the role of the head of state in a communist regime, votre conclusion and your conclusion uh, à la façon d'un juge mon intime is, conviction uh, and you title it just like a judge que, as my intimate conviction so l'analyse concernant la période durant laquelle vous n'aviez pas since contact avec Kyo Sampan et vous n'étiez pas this au Cambodge, analysis is based on a, que vous seriez d'accord de dire on a period during which you had no contact with Kyo Sampan can you agree to the fact that this analysis might be a bit subjective or that it might be based somewhat on speculation. Answer, I would say that these are the hypotheses based on what I knew of Kyusampan in the past and of based on what I was able to see of him and hear from him in the year 2000 Alors, and after. Clair, Fine. Exemple. I'd like to be perfectly clear. Let Vous me take an example. You wrote... Uh, uh, dans votre document e in your statement, E190-2.5, French ERN, 00 0080 alors la question est la suivante. So est que vous savez, le témoin, si Do you know, Norodom Sihanouk était lui Nordam Sihanouk was a member of the CPK, member of the Central Committee, Central Committee or if he attended most permanent. meetings of the Standing Committee. Answer, I completely, I'm completely unaware of that, and I'm completely unaware of uh, late King Sihanouk's contacts in 1975 and 1976, but however, I know that he went to Cambodia 
In the early 1970s, he was living in Beijing at that period, but he traveled at least once to Cambodia, and he met then Pol Pot Kyosampan, etc. And I even saw a photograph of this meeting. Uh, fine, uh, says the co-prosecutor. Earlier, you spoke about Sirik Matak as being um, one of the shareholders in your corporation when you were in Cambodia. Have you ever heard or read a speech by Kyosampan that he made around April 1975, that is saying the weeks just before, qui avait pour objet, whose euh, en tout cas, object qui traitait du fait was y avait des traîtres, des that super traîtres, there were traitors and super traitors, of which Sirik Matak was part of. Answer, I am not aware of this speech nor of any other kind of speech that was made by Kusampan or by anyone else. I know that Sirik Matak had participated with Lonol in the destitution of Prince Sianouk in March 1970. Fine, says the co-prosecutor. When you answered a question by Judge Lavergne earlier, you said that he, he did not know, or in case Kusampan had never told you, having been a member le or communist, having even uh, or having presided over the Marxist communist circle communist or having been a member of the French Communist Party. Que vous appris vous par la suite? So did you uh, learn of this que later? Did you learn later that Kusampan had been a de member of the uh, French Communist Party or of uh, this uh, Marxist-Leninist circle? Or did you just learn this today during today's uh, hearing? And I suspected it, but I only learned it officially today during today's hearing. Comme vous vous en doutiez, ce que vous êtes demandé you may wonder, did you ask yourself si, en réalité, if in reality vous le connaissiez aussi you knew Kusampan as well as you thought or, or if there was something that was hidden uh, uh, in Kusampan that he never revealed to you? Answer. I met Kusampan several times, as I told you, and when I met him, I grew to appreciate him very much, as well as other Cambodians in Paris then, and my appreciation grew when I was in Cambodia and when I saw the way he conducted his political activities. I'd like to remind you that he first was a parliamentarian in Norodom Sihanouk's party, and then he was then re-elected a second time without the support of Norodom Sihanouk, which proves that the local population appreciated him more than the other candidates. President, court officer, could you coordinate with the AV unit regarding the interference on the voice from the France?
President, the prosecution as you may pro now continue with your questioning of this uh, witness. And please repeat your last question. Thank you. Well, if I'm not mistaken, Mr. President, I believe that the last question I put uh, to the witness was answered, so if I may move on to the next one, unless you did not hear the answer, well, I would like to quickly re revisit the issue of the Constitution. Earlier today, you told us that you were shocked by what you had read regarding culture in the Constitution. And I would like to quote what you said on page two of your written statement. More specifically, I saw the onslaught against the culture that I became pregnant with during my studies at L'Ecole des Langues Orientales, a culture based on respect for the family, religion, and traditions, a culture described in Article 3 of uh, the Constitution of 5 January 1976 uh, of Democratic Kampuchea as corrupt and reactionary, which the new culture is absolutely opposed to." End of quote. Alors, vous pas été très well, you were not very explicit uh, uh, when describing what uh, shocked you about this. You simply écrit. repeated what you had already written. So could you tell us a little bit more about your reaction, especially since the family Cambodian of your uh, wife is donc, uh, Cambodian? And so could you, you tell us how this Article 3 and what you wrote uh, here is something that was very shocking to you. Answer. Well, the Khmer Rouge, in my opinion, wanted to transform society radically. And I do not support this kind of solution at all because this solution attacks traditional values that I support, such as respecting family, respecting education, and training. So I was indeed shocked to learn later on when we discovered what had happened in Cambodia. It's not then, it was after, because of course I did not, I was not at all aware of what was going on in Cambodia at the time, from 75 to 79. So it's only five or 10 years later that I was absolutely flabbergasted. And you mentioned religion as well, says the co-prosecutor, on top of uh, family tradition and culture. And I would like maybe to read to you again Article 20 of the Constitution that states the following free translation. Each citizen of democratic Cambodia is entitled to have beliefs and religion and also has the right to have neither creed nor religion. And it is, third, it is strictly any kind of reactionary religion harming democratic Cambodia is strictly forbidden. And, end of quote, and I'd like now to return to the document that was mentioned by Judge Laverne before, document E3, slash 273, E3 slash 273, which is not only a speech, but especially a report from Pio Sampa, who was the Deputy Prime Minister on 14 December 1975, regarding the project for a new constitution before this constitution was adopted by the Third National Congress. And this is what Pio Sampa says regarding religion, free translation, and I quote, En Khmer, Khmer la page ERN 00, 00 65 74 50 répète, and I repeat 00, 00 65 64 
0. 5-0. En français, 0-0-72-58-72-00-72-00-72-58-02. En anglais, 0-0-16-78-78-76. 16, 00, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, à des impérialistes We, étrangers. Our aim is not to allow foreign imperialists, no matter who they are, to use religion subversive. for subversive ends. Nous sommes déterminés We à are determined to fight the imperialists, recours. no matter the uh, artifices they resort to. In, the imperialists keep on looking for means to attack us, in particular by using religion to notre pays. infiltrate our country. Donc so therefore, we must fight them at all costs. Concernant la and religion, regarding religion, did Que Sampan ever speak to you about religion, dans les 90, whether it be in the 1990s or whether it be uh, in the year 2000? I don't remember that we spoke about religion in a particularly extensive way. I believe that some of the criticisms that he brought up are fair insofar that a certain number of American missionaries would give candy to little children so that they would follow religious education. And many missionaries, based on what I was told, were more or less connected to the CIA. They had been sent into the countryside, and they uh, were able to understand what was going on clearly because they spoke Khmer. I'm speaking about American missionaries in the 1950s and the 1960s. Dans votre conclusion, uh, uh, soutien, in vous avez the conclusion of your statement, you state that Que Sampan did not participate in activities uh, et ne les avait certainement that, pas were, et that resembled the initiated. cultural revolution and did not foster them, nor did he initiate them even less. Uh, you de, uh, say, of course, personnel. that uh, these are personal uh, speculations. Mais However, vous avez lu when du 5 you read 1976, this constitution from 5 January 1976, uh, which wanted Khmer to shake up Khmer culture completely, pas le reflet, la wasn't this vraie uh, the sign of a true cultural revolution? Answer. Let me specify that I do not read the Constitution in detail. I simply uh, typed in Cambodia head of state um, Democratic Kampuchea on the internet and I ended up on article, uh, article 11. And yes, indeed, it was a cultural revolution. And, uh, however, I continue believing that Khe Sampa neither supported the Chinese-style Great Leap Forward nor the Chinese-style Cultural Revolution. But not as Pol Pot and the others who admired China. And they, in turn, wanted to usher in the Great Leap Forward and the Cultural Revolution at the same time, which led to the human, humanitarian disaster we are all aware of. I'm not going to return to this, uh, says the co-prosecutor. I think it's quite clear. Earlier, you said that some of your Cambodian friends uh, had probably died at S21 because you had seen a list uh, of people who had been detained there and executed. And, but you, you do not remember which one of your friends 
certaines de ces personnes, list, uh, lorsqu'elles étaient envoyées S21, étaient considérées comme des ennemis du régime des traîtres. Uh, 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 if people were sent to S21, they were considered as enemies or traitors. I do not know why. These people were suppressed, but I suppose they were charges against them. And they were all of them practically wanted Cambodia to develop politically and to lead to a more efficient regime economically speaking. But whatever charges were held against them, I'm completely unaware of them. And however, did you know if Sun Kasset, Yung Sopan, Toch Kamdun, Tipon, and others Avait été non seulement actif had à not Paris, only been active in Paris, but had also been members Campuchia. of the uh, Communist Party of Kampuchea. I know that Tuk Komdun attended meetings in Europe when he was a student, before 1960, meetings that had been organized by international communist authorities. But as far as the others, I don't know. I would not be surprised that some indeed were members of the French Communist Party when they were in France. But and as far as Cambodia, and I don't know if they were members of it. At the time, I think the Communist Party of Cambodia was called Prachichun. People. Thank you. Now, now, regarding the enemies, I wish to refer to one single document. There are several, but I will limit myself to one. E3 slash 201. E3 slash 201. It is an excerpt of Que Sompan's speech from 15 April 1977 uh, at a mass meeting for the second anniversary of the victory of 17 April 1975. And uh, it's on English page 0041419517000419517 Khmer 00929281313 Zero zero two nine two eight one three two one four and French zero zero six one twenty one soixante douze seven two soixante un and Kyrsampan says the following we must permanently keep our revolutionary vigilance awake against enemies of all kinds at home as well as abroad in order to defend democratic Kampuchea protect the worker peasant administration and preserve the fruits of our revolution resolutely and permanently End of quote. So, so did Kyrsampan in the 1990s or in the year 2000, did he ever explain to you that there had been enemies from within and enemies from outside or what revolutionary vigilance meant? Answer, I don't know if, if it is Kilpon who spoke to me about this first or if it was someone else, but it is clear that during centuries, Cambodia was the prey of enemies, Thailand and Vietnam, and, and Vietnam, supported by the USSR, wished to take over Cambodia after so I believe that what is written regarding enemies from outside can be applied to the Vietnamese and to Vietnam, and the enemies from within probably applies to Cambodians who had been brought in 1954 by the Vietnamese 
to North Vietnam, where they were trained in order uh, to be their spearhead in Cambodia. Question. Et avant 1990, Following 1979, fois, and before 1990, when you saw Kim Song Paul for the first time, after all, that long period, Cambodian did he ever talk to you about what happened to the Vietnam, Cambodian refugees and what they said as they were fleeing vous avez parlé tout à du livre de Thailand, Ponchot, Vietnam, or France? You referred earlier to François Ponchot's book, who has undertaken and achieved massive uh, gathering of testimony of refugees. Did Kishan Pan tell you anything at that encounter? Answer. There were two refugee camps that he had been to close to the sea in 1980, and I do not recall the names of those locations. I do recall that it, I had met with the refugees, the interpreter corrects, and with some friends and Colonel Saint-Simon, we uh, established a small organization to help those refugees uh, find work. And set up proper living conditions with respect to numbers, many numbers and figures, uh, significant figures have been circling about. I know that during the 1980s, Mr. Kim Yun Trak, the uh, foreign affairs minister of Vietnam, was in Paris. He was on a mission, and he was part of a conference being organized by the CNPF, and he cited a death toll of 3 million. I believe that the Vietnamese, in an attempt to justify their invasion of Cambodia, had uh, inflated the number of the dead. I do not know the number of those who died. However, during the 1970 to 1975 period, because of the American bombings, there were deaths, and during the 1975-1979 period, there were those who were eliminated or those who perished because of lack of medication and malnourishment. And following the invasion of Vietnam uh, in Cambodia in January 1979, there were people who fled, and those people were killed or who lost their lives by walking on mines. I do not know the exact numbers, but I know that there are several categories of victims. Vous avez lu, Question. vous avez su ce qu'a dit Kyu Sampan concernant le you know nombre de victimes des Khmer said about the number Notamment of Khmer Rouge victims, avec un in particular during an interview with Western Marsh journalists, du uh, magazine Time, with a certain Marsh Clark from the Times magazine in an article dated the 1st of March 1980. 1980. I'm going to uh, e read an excerpt before asking you the question. This is E3 stroke. 628. ERN en français 00 English ERN 00524517. En Khmer 00 7095544. Alors, c'est ce que rapporte le journaliste. The journalist voilà writes as follows. Pose une question à Q Saint-Pan. Combien de personnes ont été éliminées lorsque vous avez fait la révolution? How many people were eliminated during the revolution? Q Saint-Pan's answer. Tout ce que je peux dire, c'est que ce nombre ne dépassait pas les 10,000. Question. Vous voulez donc dire que le témoignage presque unanime des réfugiés en Thaïlande et d'autres témoins pas exact? Réponse. Ces témoignages ne sont pas exacts. Answer. They are not correct. Very few people were against us. Et plus loin dans l'article, il dit on in the article, nous n'avons aucune certitude. Les Vietnamiens no ont fait pas moins de 2 millions de victimes. Est-ce que vous avez eu l'occasion 
de parler avec Kyu Sampan Mr. Witness, did you ever have the opportunity to talk with Mr. Kyu Sampan during the 1990s and during the 2000s to, on the specific topic of the statistics of uh, those who died under the democratic Cambodia regime or as a result of poor treatment, disease, malnourishment, or other reasons? Response, I never had the opportunity to talk about the death toll during our meetings and during our conversations, which very often did not last a long time. We talked about the future of Cambodia. We talked about the uh, current predicament of Cambodia. We also talked about the country's future. We rarely uh, touched upon the 1975-1979 period. I do believe that there were a certain number of people who were eliminated and those who were able to oppose uh, the capture of Phnom Penh who were uh, corralled in various manners and then massacred. There were many who did die before the Vietnamese invasion, and that was due to the very difficult work conditions and the living conditions. As for the total death toll, I'm completely unaware of Merci. the exact figure. The co-prosecutor, one last question. Earlier on, de parler des sujets qui étaient potentiellement sensibles, je crois, avec M. Kusampan, c'est-à-dire la période de 1975 Est-ce que là, vous avez pu aborder ces sujets Cela fait, faisait déjà pratiquement 30 ans ou un peu moins que les événements s'étaient produits. Qu'est-ce qui vous a empêché de mettre des points sur les i, sachant tout de même ce qui s'était passé globalement en Cambodge, the details, sachant que vous avez une famille en Cambodie, et sachant aussi que vous avez une amitié pour les gens. Particulièrement en vue du fait que vous avez des amis en Cambodie, et que vous étiez en Cambodie, et que vous avez un personnel personnel. Nous avons fort peu parlé du passé. We seldom talked about the past. I traveled to China on several different occasions, and I observed that the Chinese who had lived through the Cultural Revolution never talked about the Cultural Revolution. I decided to adhere to this convention. When I traveled to Cambodia, I noticed that Cambodians were quite restrained or reluctant to talk about the 1975 to 1979 period. The co-prosecutor, I understand, but the situations in both countries are not identical, uh, depending on whether you were referring to the victims of a regime or a former head of state of a regime who may have been responsible for the death of several millions, and I would uh, put the figure of 1.7 million deaths to you. Therefore, how could you be so deliberate in avoiding such a top? Wouldn't that uh, cause a conflict of consciousness in your mind? Response, no. That never gave rise to any personal dilemma of consciousness. We talked about the ongoing situation in Cambodia at the time as was relevant. Therefore, yes, I was quite purposeful in not voilà, raising the question, subject. The co-prosecutor, Mr. President, I have no further questions to put to the witness. However, I would like to hand the floor over to my national colleague before we hand the floor over to our civil party colleagues. Thank you. Good afternoon, Mr. President, dear honors. Good afternoon, everyone in the Nairana courtroom. Bonjour, Monsieur le Président, Mesdames et Messieurs les Juges. 
Good afternoon, Mr. Julian Goffres. My name is Chandra Rasmai, representing the National Prosecutor. I have additional questions in addition to the questions put to you by my international colleague. Did you hear about the events taking place between 1975 to 1979, although you were not in Cambodia? Did you hear about the events that took place inside Cambodia between that period? At the time, Cambodia was closed off. I did not hear about what was being said. There were very few foreigners in Cambodia. It was only in 1978 that there was a group of Yugoslav journalists who were authorized to enter Cambodia. And at the time, at the very least in France, very little was said about Cambodia. There were only a few journalists who in 1975 celebrated the arrival of the Khmer Rouge to power. I recall a media article that was published in 1975 entitled Cambodia Liberated. There was a certain degree of sympathy among intellectuals following the arrival to power of the Khmer Rouge in Cambodia and the destitution of King Sihanouk. Thank you. You just Merci. stated that the relatives of your wife and some Vous of your friends disappeared. Des membres de votre belle famille ainsi que certains de vos amis ont Can disparu. you tell us between 1975 to 1979, did any of your wife's uh, family members or relatives si tell you about the events uh, that euh, took place in uh, Cambodia? And if so, what were they? Vous ont raconté des événements et ont eu au Cambodge et le cas échéant que vous ont-ils dit? Eh bien, en 79, Very well. In 1979, un one of my brothers-in-law was able to escape with his family. They left Cambodia and they arrived in the Udong camp before arriving in France. I held many conversations with many refugees and I arrived at the conclusion that the situation was very different depending on the region and depending on the Khmer Rouge official in power. There were some refugees who were very poorly treated, other regions where the conditions were not so hard. In some cases, the price to pay was very heavy. Question. Thank you. Question. I Merci. read your letter document E190.2.5 on page number 4 in French. Et à la page 4 en français, in French, 00 80 In that letter, you say that in 1990, you met Kyu Sampan in the block where the Khmer Rouge uh, live Dans les locaux in Paris. Rouge Is that true? Exact. 
J'ai rencontré euh, Kyo Sampo en 1990. Je pense que la date précise... I met Mr. Kyo Sampo en 1990. I do not recall the exact date. But yes, it was in the uh, former offices of the Khmer Rouge at the Place de Barcelone in the building that had been given uh, to the coalition government. And so that is correct. That is where I met Kyo Sampan at the time. Question. Thank you. Merci. Was that uh, was that encounter the first encounter with Mr. Kyosampan, and what did you discuss uh, with him? Que vous rencontriez Kyosampan et de quoi avez-vous parlé avec lui? C'était la première fois depuis. Yes, indeed. It was the first encounter since 1966. We talked about our families. We talked about uh, what they had become. The conversation was rather brief since Mr. Kyosampan was very busy at the time. He was in the midst of preparing the Paris Accords. I think he was getting ready for a meeting with the former French Minister of Foreign Affairs, Mr. Roland Dumas. So my conversation with him was not very lengthy. Question. Question. Thank you. Merci. Can you tell the timber, please? Was the office for Funk and Grunk established du Funk in et Paris Grunk already? Avait-il déjà and été what was the purpose of the establishment of such? À quoi servaient ces bureaux et qui en était responsable Je sais que les bureaux de la place de Barcelone. I'm aware that the offices in Paris at the Place de Barcelone were made available to various governments uh, with which the Khmer Rouge were involved. It didn't serve as an embassy per se. It served as a place to hold unofficial meetings with uh, French figures or uh, others. That's what I presume. Question. Thank you. Question. In 1990, en 1990, were you aware that Kyo Sampan traveled to this area, the place, the Barcelone, in Paris, and uh, if you knew, how did you know about this? pouvait être contacté place de Barcelone et si vous le saviez comment le saviez-vous Je ne me souviens plus du tout comment I do not recall at all how I learned of this was it through other Cambodians or through French media and newspapers I do not remember However, I do recall uh, having received a phone call and uh, given an appointment. Question. Thank you. I would like to ask you Merci. another question. 
In 2005 and 2006, you said uh, you paid a visit to Mr. Kyosun Pon and stayed uh, with the family in Thailand. How long or how many days did you spend uh, staying with the family and what kind of topics of discussion um, did you have with the family back then? I believe that I spent approximately two to three days in Pailin in 2005, and I visited An Long Veng in 2006. We covered a lot of things, mainly personal matters. We talked about the living conditions in Pailin, the farming conditions. And in An Long Veng, we visited the Priya Vehir temple. We talked about this and that, but we never delved into one particular subject. It would have been almost 40 years uh, since our last encounter, so we were re-establishing our friendly ties before carrying out uh, deeper and sustained conversations. Question. Thank Question. you. During the time Merci. when you stayed uh, with this family in Thailand and on Long Wang, did you meet uh, with other Khmer Rouge leaders? If so, what did you talk to them? Si oui, de no. Quoi avez -vous parlé avec eux? no. Bon. no je no, I never met with any other Khmer Rouge leader. I believe that, or at least I was told that Mr. Ying Sari was in Pailin. The governor was a former bodyguard. But he orbited in a very different uh, world than that of Mr. Kyu Sampon. I did not wish to have any contact with any other Cambodian leaders or figures. Question. Question. Thank you. Merci. Can you also tell the chamber, please, what uh, made Kyu Sampan join the Democratic Cambodia? Pour quelle raison Did he Kyu ever Sampan talk to you about this objective? A-t-il rejoint le Cambodia démocratique? Vous en a-t-il jamais parlé? If you will, I will supplement my answer to the previous question by saying that during my stay in Pai Lin and An Long Veng, I met with some officials, I met with peasants, I met with soldiers, I met with Cambodian as well as Thai soldiers, all of whom held Mr. Kyu Sampan in high esteem. With respect to the question you are asking me now, I know that Kyu Sampan held what can be called very progressive ideas. However, he left Phnom Penh in 1967. I was no longer there. He left with two other uh, members of parliament, Hu Yun and Hu Nim. Those two members disappeared during the 1975 to 1978-79 period. 
I'm also of the belief that Mr. Kyu Sompon did not suffer the same demise as Hu Nim and Hu Yun, and that is because the Khmer Rouge government needed him as a figurehead to serve as head of state. Question. Thank you. I have uh, only three remaining questions before I conclude uh, this um, questioning time. And uh, my f next question is Voici la question suivante. Did uh, Mr. Kilson Pan explain to you que the reason he accepted uh, the position he was offered uh, the state the president de of the state presidium position and other positions he were holding at that time did he ever mention about this to you when you met him we never broached the topic, we never talked about it, but if he accepted these functions, it was because he truly believed it would be of use for his country and for his people. Question. Thank you. Question. The next question Merci. is, uh, Je passe à la question you suivante. talked about Mr. Kilsompon's personal contact Vous avez and his popularity, and he, you also explained a lot in your letter and in your testimony. Uh, that uh, Mr. Kilsompon was the most popular person, the most respectful and the most admired individual person who was uh, greatly admired by the people, and that happened even in 1960s. Y compris dans les années 60. Now, can you tell the chamber, please, whether such popularity Vous and quality that you mentioned about Mr. Kilson si Pond uh, remains uh, the same during the entire period, uh, I mean, over the last 30 years? Au cours des 30 dernières années. Co-prosecutor, I believe that uh, our message was not conveyed. I may ask uh, this question again. Mr. Witness, uh, you mentioned about Mr. Kyu Sampon's uh, personal conduct uh, and his popularity, and you explained uh, a lot in your letter and in this testimony that uh, Mr. Kyu Sampon was the most uh, popular, respectful, and a person of quality, and he was greatly admired uh, by the people, and that happened in 1960s. My question to you is, Voici à présent ma question. do or does this quality of uh, Mr. Kilson Pond that you described uh, Cette remain with him popularité over the last... 10 years or has this changed already? Intact au fil du temps. Uh, 
Well, I noticed when I was Pailin and at Alongvain and Prévy here that the officials who had accompanied me in Pailin, the Cambodian and Thai servicemen that we met close to the border, they were in a joint mission as well as with the peasants that we met in Anlongveng and Privy here, that they all showed appreciation for Kyr Sampan. I, I heard no insult from these people, nor any form of criticism. Co-prosecutor, I thank you very much indeed, uh, Mr. Witness, and uh, I thank you for your responses. I, we believe that your testimony will have ascertained the truth, uh, and uh, we wish you all the very best. Thank you very much indeed. And thank you, Mr. President and Your Honours, for allowing vous, me the opportunity to put the questions to him. Thank you. De laissé le témoin. Thank you, Mr. Prosecutor. The President, uh, next uh, we would like to hand over to the legal lawyers for the civil parties, Council Pekang. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, Merci, Council Lao Chun Thi and Chunti, the Council Simonovs uh, will be putting questions uh, to this witness. The President, uh, you may proceed. Le président, je vous en prie Council Lao Chun Thi. Good afternoon, Mr. President, and good afternoon, Your bon Honours, and président, good afternoon to everyone. Juge. I am Lao Chunti from Legal Aid of Cambodia. I am here representing civil parties. Good afternoon, Mr. Witness. Good afternoon, Mr. Witness. I have some questions for you, please. Des questions à vous poser. Good afternoon, Council. Well, so much. Um, I'm really cut about look that man. I am now referring Le to your letter Je vous when, uh, in which you mentioned about your relationship with Mr. Kusumpon, and that relationship was uh, built. Uh, even from 1957. My first question to you is that you said you met Mr. Kusumpan in Paris. And Mr. Kusumpan was doing a PhD degree, and I would like to know whether you know what kind of a degree was that. The President, uh, please hold on, Council. We appear to Le have President. some technical glitch, and Veuillez we will get Il back to you soon un after it is fixed.
Le président. Council, you may now proceed, but please repeat your last question. Je vous en prie. Council, Laudenti, thank you, Mr. President, and good afternoon again to Mr. Witness. I would like to now recall the event you mentioned in your letter that you met with Mr. Kilson Pon in Paris in 1957 when he was doing his PhD degree course in Paris. My question to you, what was the subject uh, of uh, Mr. Kilson study for his uh, degree in Paris? Quel était l'objet de la thèse de Kilson Pan? Good afternoon. I did not read his dissertation, but I believe it was on economics. And I believe that the topic was the desired development of Cambodia's economy. But, but. Question. Thank you. Question. That leads to my next question. You said you knew what happened on the 17th of April 1975, you learned that uh, Phnom Penh dwellers were evacuated like the other people in other cities, and that the evacuation was a part of the solution to the food shortages. You said that this was conceived as a solution to the problem of food shortages. Do you share the view that uh, uh, such evacuation would result uh, in the hardship that the evacuees would encounter because during the course of the evacuation no proper transportation was uh, provided and people were not offered uh, decent services? Du fait service été prévu pour cette population? The president, um, the internet connection is not uh, very good. Uh, can council please hold on? À l'internet n'est pas très bonne. Veuillez patienter, maître. The President, uh, Council, Président. you may now continue. Allez and the Council, please be reminded that uh, time is limited. And you may have five more minutes. Uh, and we add these five minutes to you because of the technical glitch we had just experienced. Council, nous allongeons votre Chunti, temps thank you, Mr. President. Minutes. I will be very brief then. Merci, I was Je asking the witness this question. Je vais he mentioned la question about posée au the food uh, Il a parlé solution and the evacuation and the question was that um, do you think 
Monsieur there Temo. wouldn't be any other options other than having to evacuate uh, the people from the city because that would uh, be resulting in um, hardship for the people. Entraîner de grandes difficultés. Well, I was not in Cambodia in 1975, but I was there in 1974. And then the country had been devastated by the civil war. There was practically no harvests, and a great part of the population sought refuge in the cities, and they were supplied by boat and by plane from the outside, in particular by the Americans. So the other solution was for the Russians or Chinese or Singaporeans, for example, replace the Americans in supplying food to the population. But this was not the solution that uh, was sought. Council, uh, thank you. I have question. my final question Merci. due Je to time constraints. Uh, this last temps. question is, you have had uh, contact uh, with Mr. Vous avez Kyo Sampan, even before 1957 and recently. Can you describe to the chamber whether you can see a change in his uh, behavior during the time you met him in 1957 and the last time you saw him? De comportement entre 1957 et votre dernière rencontre avec lui. I did not notice any major change. I noticed that he still had faith in Cambodia and that Cambodia could, in faith that Cambodia would develop, and he was still very patriotic. And if he was head of state in 1976, it was maybe in part because he was obliged to take on that position, but also because he was trying to limit the damage that he noticed back then in Cambodia. Council Junti, thank you very Maître much, uh, Mr. Witness, and Merci I would like to Monsieur now Témoin. hand over to présent, my colleague to continue putting the questions. And thank you, Mr. President. Qui va à son tour vous poser des questions. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Oui, bonjour, Monsieur yes. le Président. Bonjour, good Mesdames et Messieurs les Juges. Bonjour à tous. Mr. President, good afternoon, Your Honours. Good et afternoon to all of you. And témoin. good morning to you, witness. Je m'apprêtais à vous poser I quelques questions going, sur uh, I'm going to ask you a few ce qui m'intéressait, c'est-à-dire uh, le rôle de Monsieur Kessampan et ce qu'il était dans les, la période de 67 à 79. From 1976 to 1990. And you said also that after 1990, when you met him, neither you nor he, had spoken 
de 67 à 79, ni sur ce qu'était son rôle, et dans la mesure où vous ne pouvez rien apporter, je ne vous poserai pas de questions. Je voudrais néanmoins vous remercier pour votre disponibilité pour cette audience, et puis j'ai noté qu'à l'occasion d'une question, vous disiez que vous aviez appris quelque chose à l'audience, je m'en réjouis puisque c'est l'objectif de ce procès. Merci. President, thank you. The National Council for Kids and Porn, Merci. you may proceed. Cambodian, thank you, Mr. President. I'd like to make an observation regarding the statement made by the international lead co-lawyers to make her conclusion. And this is not a time for her to make such a statement. It is time for questioning the witness. Pas le thank you. De faire des mais President, le thank témoin. you for your timely le observation, Council. Nunji's defense team, do you have any question to put to this witness? De ce no, thank you, Mr. President. Maître Copé, non. President, thank you, Council. Merci, Maître. Mr. Julong Philip, the hearing of your testimony has now Monsieur Julian Gaufret, concluded. Votre déposition est donc terminée. The judges of the trial chamber and the and all the parties have no further questions for you. And we thank you very much for uh, your valuable time to testify before this chamber for this afternoon session with perseverance and effort. Et vous de vos efforts. Your testimony may contribute to finding the truth in this case. À la manifestation de la vérité and dans ce we wish you all the best, good health Nous and prosperity. Souhaitons bonne continuation. Goodbye. Au revoir. Young. Monsieur le Président, Mr. President, les juges, Your Honours, Prosecutors, les avocats, Lawyers, Mr. Kiosampan, thank you very much for having listened to me. Thank you. The President, merci. Maybe you need you may now disconnect the video conferencing. To France. audiovisuelle peut désormais fermer la connexion de vidéoconférence avec la France. The chamber would like now to make an oral decision regarding the request by the lead co-lawyers on the statement of crimes to be made by the civil parties. Yesterday we heard this oral Hier, submission from all the parties concerning the request whether the civil party shall be questioned by the prosecution or the defense teams aussi bien par during the hearing par la of the statement of harm by the victim subi par les victimes. which will be scheduled to be heard from the Audience 27th qui devra of May, commencer le 27 mai from next week. la semaine prochaine. There have been a major consent amongst all the parties and the chamber decides that the parties may question the civil parties que on relevant factual issues interroger les parties civiles sur des éléments factuels subject to the time limitations already announced. Dans la limite de la répartition du temps déjà annoncé, the Chamber wishes to remind the parties that the general framework for the presentation of civil party testimony 
s'appliquant à la déposition des parties civiles including a statements of dans suffering was set forth recently in document e through 6 Considering the co-prosecutors and defense will be granted an opportunity to ask questions, de poser des questions, the chamber will not grant an additional opportunity to comment on civil party statements of suffering. La possibilité supplémentaire de formuler des commentaires sur les déclarations de souffrance The des victimes. Victim civiles. impact hearing is scheduled for 27, 29, and 30th May and 4th June. Et mai et le 4 juin. One session, that is 75 Une minutes, de 75 will be devoted to each civil party. With the lead co lawyers having two thirds of the time available in that session, session, and the remainder is to be divided among the OCP and the two defense teams. Any civil party who wishes to put a question to an accused must do so during the time allocated to the lead co-lawyers. During these four days of testimony, ces de déposition, the chamber will modify its sitting hours slightly in order to permit two civil parties to testify in the morning and two other civil parties to testify in the afternoon. The sitting times will be emailed to the parties. As noted yesterday, the Chamber has agreed to an extension of time to hear the testimony of the expert TCE 12. He will be heard on the afternoon of 5th June. The time will be allocated two thirds to the lead co lawyers and the remainder among the three other parties. No extension of time will be granted to the lead co lawyers. This is the oral decision on the request made by the lead co-lawyers yesterday. The hearing today has come to a conclusion and we will adjourn the hearing now and we will resume tomorrow, that is Wednesday the 22nd of May 2013, commencing from 9 a.m. We will hear the testimony of Prom Su, who will be questioned by the two defense teams, starting from Kyu's and Pons team first. Security guards you are instructed to take the two accused, that is Kyu and Pons and Nunchir, back to the detention facility and have them return to the court room tomorrow morning prior to 9 a.m. And as for Nunchir, Bring him to the holding cell downstairs, which is equipped with the audio video communication for him to participate and follow the proceeding. The court is now in recess.